hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing us how to prepare a sales data report using excel so let us jump right into it so the first thing you need to do is to have the name of your organization so i'll just copy this copy this okay we just paste this So we just paste this, copy this and paste this. And this is the name of the organization. The next thing you are going to do is to have the name of the title of what you are preparing. Sales data report for February, for January rather. Alright, so just have this here. But you type it when you are practicing, okay? Alright, so this is it. So you just highlight these three, okay? Then you come here and um, you increase this. Let me increase this our uh, our view so we can see. Then this one too, you also increase it. Utilize. You can let me leave it this way for the month of increase this one to twelve and uh, probably utilize it. So sales data report. I want to show us how to prepare a sales data report using Excel. So all I just need to do is to just copy this header that is here. Copy these headers that are here. No, copy just copy the header. Just let me just copy the header. Okay. So but you type them in your own. So these are the headers. I'll still format them. And um what else? Okay, let me just copy the name of the customers. The name of the customers. Okay. This is the name of the customer. So you type them. Okay, these are the names of the customers. Then I increase this place. Then tap on this place and bold it. Okay, this serial number, I will shrink it. Left click and drag invoice number left click and drag okay so click on this place and come here and say center so i'll centralize it i'll click on this three place and um, i'll say wrap the text okay so it's too big so i'll also push it up a bit and i also let me increase this so that the total sales will show the commission yes everything is looking nice now so i will also you know in highlight it again and push it a little bit up middle a middle align so it's looking nice a little bit then this um let me use this so we can see this uh, serial number i'll just type one two i'll use flash view so i like these two just i like the two left click and drag okay let's click and drag then you when you, when you are done, it will fill the rest for you. So, your invoice number, if you have an invoice number, you use them for each customer. So, I just want to use 234001. I don't know why I like using it. So, but in organization, you have what you use. Then, tap on this place and say fill series so that it will change the number, change the numbering to make it unique. For the product, for the product, for the product, you can just let me just copy this okay let me just copy all this product for the product let me just copy all this let click on for the product let me just copy all this okay we just copy of the product the product that the person bought from us so so these are the products that he or she bought from us and for the price let me just you can just pick any random price let me just pick the price and the quantity okay and um, 
paged here. So this is the price, this is the quantity. You enter this manually in an organization, okay? All right, the amount now, the amount is equals to tap here times price times quantity, press enter. Can you see how they get the amount? So again, equals to tap on this place times times quantity enter now there's a way you can type the excel formula manually now check this place this is column e row 3 so this place now this place that 8500 i want to multiply it with 15 8500 is in e7 can you see um 15 which is the quantity is in f7 so i can say equals to e7 on my keyboard you see i'm not even using any times times what times this place which is what f7 so i just say f7 you can type manually so but you have to understand say referencing okay then you press enter can you see it now so amount is price times quantity so you just double tap to fill the rest the tax is equals to 7.5 percent on your keyboard times amount tap on this amount press enter okay equals to 7.5 percent depending on organization share times amount enter so i've done that so you just click on this place and double tap to fill the rest commission two equals to two percent times amount don't forget enter equals to two percent times amount enter you tap on your amount then you just come here and double tap the edge of the box to give you the rest total sales equals to s u m open a bracket sum of amounts i like this place to commission then you press enter that is total sales revenue is the amount of the product which is price and quantity plus the tax the value added tax plus the commission you understand so that's how you get your total sales revenue then you again equals to s u m open a bracket sum tap here left click and drag press enter okay so total sales revenue is amount plus tax plus commission so you sum these three using the sum function again equals to s u m open a bracket tap on this place left click and drag to commission then press enter okay so when you are done just double tap to fill the rest okay now the next thing you are going to do is to give everything a narrow sign starting from amount if you are in united states and are watching this video you use your own sign so you just highlight everything including the last column come to this place go to more accounting formats and you go to more accounting formats click on this place and use your arrow key to go down 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 you will surely see naira you can pick anyone you can pick so you surely see naira a do fulani also anyone you can pick anyone so why it is naira let's be fulani okay can you see so this one is showing so you just left click and drag so this is how to calculate your sales data report using excel so you can highlight this place and um, match and center so it becomes center highlight this place as well then you match and center you can also highlight this place as well and then you match and center then you come here and you type total t o t a l tap here highlight everything and then you give it bold okay this amount this total revenue too you can just put it in bold so that everything will be unique all these things i'm doing they are formatting and they are very important you understand they are very important formatting is key in excel if you present the data like this it may not look attractive so your data has to look attractive and apart from looking attractive your data has to be accurate so it's not just uh, let my data just be accurate let my data just be fine you give it color and then, then there's nothing so you bold this place as well now i want to give it 
a much more so i can see total of all the amount is equals to sum open a bracket tap on this place left click and drag to the 16th person then you press enter so now that i've done for the first person i can just left click and just left click this place and and drag to the rest to feed the rest for me now what i'll now do again is to highlight my data set highlight it and uh, give it all borders okay I can just give it all border I like this place and um, give it a color let me give it the color that I used before so you see because I use black text now this time around I'll use white so that everything will show okay I, I like this place as well give it this same color and change it to white so it's looking fine right so I will highlight this place I still want to make it look more beautiful I like this on a Vincent tone and give it a color that is not too deep let me just use this color yes let me use this color I like this person give it this color you see it's looking fine so when they see that say wow no 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 this accountant is but your color must not be too deep so that they can see so I like this place and uh, you'll be highlighting it manually then do it for it leave one white line I like this place do it for you I like this place all this one I'm just doing they are formatting so to end this video but I just want to show you how you can uh, make your report look more you know interesting so I leave a white line I like this place okay and I give it this and I also lastly I, I like this place and um, give it this you can see it's looking beautiful so this is how you can prepare a sales data report and format it very well so when somebody sees this and person knows that I ah, know this person is an advanced Excel user, see you in my next video.